LVDS, low voltage differential signaling. This uh, is pretty common. Um, it is differential signaling, so uh, watch the previous videos if you want to know what that is. This is electrical signaling that can run at very high speeds over a twisted copper pair. Um, it's used all over the place, um, cameras, um, LCDs, communications, um, and it's, it is the standard, the way of communicating for a, a protocol called Camera Link, Camera Link, uh, which is a serial communication protocol for cameras and frame grabbers. Now, LVDS is not an encoding spec. It's not something like 8B, 10B. It's just a method for transmitting differential signals from source to load. So how does it look? Let me pause, scroll down, and draw. This is how it looks. You have a voltage source driving a 3.5 milliamp constant current source, which is the standard, down through a network of MOSFETs, which I've labeled here the gates A, B, C, and D, um, down some lines. This is a differential pair here, which are terminated at 100 ohm uh, impedance near the load. So this is going to be V out plus minus, uh, which is read by this uh, this uh, op amp and the output will just hit the rail whether it's VDD or ground depending on what's the impedance here. So how does this look? Well as let's say let's draw out a truth table A, B, C, D and let's say in the first case A is 0 volts or it's a logic 0, B is a logic high, C is a logic high D is a logic zero. What is V out going to be? Well, in this case, uh, we're going to have this transistor and this transistor turned on. So the current will come down here, out here, out here, come back here, back here, back here, back here, and then come down to the uh, 3.5 milliamps. So V out is going to be plus 0.35 volts, where you have the current 0.0035 amps times 100 ohms equals 0.35 volts. Let's say in the other case, the other logic case, we have this is 1. This is 0, 0, 1. The output is going to be minus 0 0.35 volts. Um, you can convince yourself that's the case. So this is pretty simple. It's just a way to toggle back and forth uh, between these logic states and use differential signaling to travel long distances. Uh, distinction here between what I've called out before is differential signaling is that our load here is low impedance rather than high impedance, but the, the cables are uh, pairs of cables, maybe twisted pairs, maybe not, uh, but it, it, this is differential signaling, comparing one to the other. And there, you're not comparing uh, multiple signals to a single ground, you're comparing one signal to one return. Alright, so this is pretty simple, but we do want a fail safe, and there often will be a fail safe in case something goes wrong. Let me just pause and draw that out, let me scroll down. These are two pretty common solutions here. There's just uh, some resistances between the 3.3 volt uh, rail and ground, and often R1 will be equal to about 4.2 kilo ohms, and R2 will be equal to 2.5 kilo ohms. And basically, we want this to pull the system up to a logic high uh, in the case of a failure. Uh, in another example. Uh, it's very similar to this first solution, but the the resistances are integrated into, re, into the receiver, into the, the, the package, the, the, the surface mount component or whatever, um, and it's very similar. There are other solutions too. I'm not going to go into any of them, but basically uh, for whatever LVDS receiver you choose, be sure to follow the data sheet and rig up the resistances appropriately.